It's 97 degrees and I'm not wearing any pants. Let's jump right into it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name, of course, is Chad. This week, we're back with another textbook review. This week, we are looking at Basic Japanese Grammar by Everett Blair. At least I think that's how his last name is pronounced. Without further ado, let's check out my thoughts on Basic Japanese Grammar. Three-pointer. Eh, a little short. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name, of course, is Chad. And this week, we are finally getting our grubby little hands all over basic Japanese grammar, as they say, or grammar. Maybe I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. This is, as it says in the front, a streamlined and concise approach to Japanese printed by Tuttle. For those outside the bubble of Japanese learning, Tuttle put out the beginning Japanese book we reviewed a few times ago. They are starting to emerge into the Japanese resource consciousness more and with their addition here from Everett I believe it's Blair Blayler Bla Blayen Blaven we have this bat <laughs> basic we have this basic Japanese no we have a basic Japanese grammar book now a lot of you guys if you were to pick this up off a shelf flip it to the middle you'll see oh no roaming characters and you'll probably set it down but I want to give just a quick defense in the book's own words for us to even continue from here because we've had enough of Japanese for dummies, let's actually try and find something that isn't that. And that first thing that I wanna show you actually comes in the book during the how to use this book section. And you could see on section one that it has here, or at least on list one, do not approach this book until you have mastered many useful phrases and express expressions. I can speak English. I'm trying to help you guys learn a second language. I can't even speak my freaking first. Such as you will find in any good phrase book or audio course. Now that takes some marketing balls to do because it's so easy to go, oh, this is the the last book you'll ever need, the all-in-one, right? The marketing to get people to buy it. And this one even says, just so you guys know, you should have purchased something to learn this language before you even approach this book. And that should tell you what this book is actually for. This is not your first introduction. You're learning about all of this stuff. This is like a, a review, an overview. This is trying to get you way more focused on the parts of the language that is used every single day rather than say JLPT lists where they have things for different levels but some of them are used a ton and some of them like some of the things I've seen on the JLPT N1 I've never even seen and I read Japanese books every day so this is specific to this is the everyday things that if you do not have this down you are not going to actually be able to communicate proficiently which I agree with this is very introductory material and it says it itself right it says here on page nine this manual does not provide a complete coverage of japanese grammar but has been limited to constructions that are indispensable to either comprehension or ordinary simple speech so just so you guys know this is not a, a learning uh you are not intaking your first understanding of japanese grammar from this book this is not a grammar dictionary this is oh you already have a textbook you already have a, a japanese pod you already have whatever system of sources you've gotten from reddit and people that are like no lifers whatever it is that you're doing this is to help you with those core elements of all of those that are indispensable to the language now i will give them this this is actually really really interesting and i'm happy that they did this if you guys can see here on page 11 this section is fascinating let's listen to what it says you may not have the time to work through this series of grammatical aids. For an acquaintance with an absolute minimum of Japanese grammar, we suggest that you read the following sections. So this book isn't even saying everything in this book is 100% indispensable. It is saying basic, core, foundational parts that you need to even figure out what, what would even constitute a sentence. Here's what it is. And I freaking love that. There are so many times a book will present every piece of information equally, as if they all are of equal importance, that you need to learn them all exactly in this order, and that they have to be used this way. And in this book, it even goes, look, yeah, this book is the core info, but even from within that information, there's a smaller subsect that I'm telling you, you need to know forward and backward. And here is the, here is the index for just the super hyper necessary parts. I kind of wish Genki and Mina had that type of approach where it was like, yes, we're teaching you all the beginner stuff. And there's beginner stuff that is like in the middle, core and foundational, like a tree stump. And then there are branches that come off it. And there are sub branches of sub branches. And if you want just the tree stump, this main line, you know, this will get you to the top of the tree. But if you want a fullness of understanding of the language, Here's these other options. I don't know. I think that that's really cool. Now, uh, page 12 actually goes over exactly 
what you're going to encounter in this book. If you look at any of the explanations, all you're going to encounter is you're going to see it has the Roman version and then what it means. So Yomu instead of like the Kana for Yomu to read. Uh, and it means to read. I don't really like that with explanations. I, personally, I kind of wish that, so you can see the, the markers, right? Ga, wa, no, o, ka. Uh, again, I, I really just wish that they would do, because they show you the example here. Like, I don't understand how, oh, this is totally fine, but if you just put in the actual kana next to it, why wouldn't that be helpful for people? We'll just give them one more exposure, one more connecting of no equals no, right? I understand that this is for a lower, you know, understanding of the language, but if you're already expecting people to have a system before they come to this, I don't understand why you can't also just have the actual Japanese grammar as a part of the explanation. On top of that, there is something that, that A, it frustrates me, right? Like you can see that they have, you know, the the Roman version, which is fine, the Romanized version, kyo wa i tenki desu ne. Uh, obviously the English translation, Makes sense. The actual Japanese, although no furigana, use the romaji on top. The thing that's interesting is always in these brackets. I've actually, to my knowledge, I've never seen this approach. They actually give the literal definition of what exactly each one of these words means in English, but following the Japanese grammar. So if kyo, today, wa, as for, a lot of you guys might know it as the topic marker, i, good, tenki, weather, des is today as for good weather is that as for makes me a little weirdy because i'm used to it just being the topic but that's okay and they do it for the subject too you can see down here i as for that object c so he has the object o the object marker if you see ga they actually come over here and write the subject right so he has for book subject buying wishing question for the ka. Question is ka. Or question mark, I suppose. I don't know if I like that. I think it is very unique. I don't, I've reviewed 30 of these books hands-on. I've never seen that. And I don't know if that's because it's a really dumb idea or if it's brilliant, but I definitely think when I was first learning Japanese, other than this top part having romaji, I think I'm kind of over it. It's, it's, it's cool. I'm excited to see how it works, but I don't know if I love that yet. And you can see when you go throughout the book, it's pretty self-explanatory. They introduce particles, uh, prepositions, that type of thing. Each section is one topic and they give you a pretty good amount of examples. This book has no work with it. There's no place for you to write in. There's no answer grade, obviously, because there's no workbook equivalent of this. So this is definitely not trying to get you to output. This is strictly to overview what you hopefully are already either inputting or outputting with your normal section. As for what is in this, I mean, you could see here we're basically halfway, more or less. And the sentences are pretty easy. Uh, I actually compared this with a couple different systems and obviously every chapter of every book is slightly different. But to give you an example, I would say that this covers maybe up till chapter five of Genki, maybe. So this is maybe a third to maybe, uh, I, I'm hesitant to say a half. I'm gonna say a quarter to a third of most beginner books worth of grammatical information. And that's frankly, not necessarily a bad thing. This isn't trying to be the complete beginner introduction. This is trying to be the introduction, or the, I should say the overview, as it was uh, uh, implying at the front, of just the core Japanese completely essential to basic spoken uh, language and comprehension, which I think it does a good job of. I don't think it covers very much. And honestly, for the price of, I believe I paid $10 for it. I don't know if I would buy this. I definitely like the idea of having the exact English grammatical translation. I think that that's interesting for like a brand new beginner so they can kind of picture it in their head how this all comes together. But does that warrant $10? I'm gonna leave that up to a maybe. I think I'm gonna try thinking about things like this. Maybe I'll even try, I have a friend who's studying Japanese right now from the very beginning. If he comes up to me with a grammar question, maybe I'll try and write it like that and get his thoughts and see if that's actually worth, like, does that help him or does that make him way more confused? Because if it's making him more confused, it's not worth it. All in all, for 10 bucks, I definitely think, well, A, don't use this to learn Japanese, use this to overview Japanese, but even for overviews, depending on what you're overviewing, if your goal is a JLPT, don't get this, go get a JLPT overview. If you're doing some crazy Reddit plan, like you're doing a, a weird workout diet thing from some shredded dude, but you're doing that for Japanese, probably don't buy this. Hey, you traveling to Japan, you, you're gonna go teach English in Japan, you're gonna go work in Japan. You just wanna make sure you have a good understanding of the basics, want maybe a refresher or an over overview. Maybe you wanna see if there's something you're struggling with in your Genki or your Mina or your beginner Japanese book. And hey, you want it phrased a different way, maybe written with different examples. I don't think it's a bad $10.
I think it's a weird $10. I don't think it's a bad $10. But all in all, that's just my thoughts. There's a bigger community than this. So I'm going to pass this off to Studio Chad. And let's hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think about basic Japanese grammar? So yeah, that's about it. That is basic Japanese grammar. My thoughts, everything that I've compiled this week, looking at it, using it, comparing it to other sources that I have. But that's always just me. And this is a two-way conversation, even though you can't make a video talking to me yet. That technology has not been invented but you can use the comment section. So whatever you guys think about the book, is this your first time seeing it? Have you used this book? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you recommend it to a new learner? Is this something that you'd recommend to your younger brother? If not, or if so, please leave a comment down below. Tell everyone, whoever would be that would read that comment, exactly what you think about it. And hopefully down the line, some learner will read it, gather some experience from your experience, and maybe you would make a better educated decision about stepping into this Japanese world that you and I inhabit today. If you guys like this video, be sure to like it down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or compliments, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. I do personally read all of them. Consider buying any of the books that we put out on Amazon. I'm actually going to talk about in the subscriber-only outro. Little peek at maybe the next book we're doing. You can check out the Manga Club, the Patreon, my Discord with 400 plus other cool dudes down below. Links for everything in the description. Other than that, it's time to move to the subscriber-only outro. So, if you're not subscribed, I still love you. I still appreciate you. Love hard, love deep, and I'll see you next week. But if you're sub, stay for the outro. Hey, sub on the outro. Thank you so much for staying after. I really appreciate you. You guys are the best. Uh, this week, I want to talk to you guys, really share. Uh, we're starting the formatting of another translation project that we started. We're going to publish this a little bit later. This, minus a little bit of censoring because YouTube, is one of the starter sketches that we're doing for this book. We are not just this book, but this whole next leg and basically project we're doing. We're taking a more serious step. Not that I don't really love uh, coloring books or children's books, but we're trying to push our limits as translators. And so we're going to be translating uh, both English speakers, Russian, and Japanese into the other languages and publishing them as a series of, I don't know if academic's the right term, but just more serious stuff. Poets, novelists, short storyists, humorists from all of those countries, from Japan, from the U.S. and England, from Russia, and we're going to be translating them into each other's languages and putting out unique illustrations to go with them. But yeah, I just want to share that with you. That's going to be a lot of what we try and do over 2022. We're starting it now because it's a really big project. We're starting with 15 different authors from those three countries, and I'm really excited to share it with you. It's going to be a while before it's done, but you're a sub, so you get a, you get a little view at the end of the video. Anyways, love hard, love deep, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.